welcome everyone, Mike with Bowers Barbecue, coming to today from Newark, Texas. Now Newark's just right outside of Fort Worth, which already has an amazing barbecue scene, but here there's a new place to add to the list. So we're gonna go check it out. First, we gotta start the fire. So here in the pit room, this thousand gallon pit is absolutely amazing to look at. This is pretty much for your day cook, things like ribs, sausage. This thing is awesome. From end to end, about a 15 degree difference, not bad at all. And then for the overnight, we have the old hickory. I can totally respect this because I like to sleep too. <laughs> this is pretty awesome. Man, I love the floors in this. This, this is freaking awesome. Over here at the, the pig, the red converse. Pretty cool. Now check this out. So they had a hole here from the air conditioner and they take it out and fill it with something. So why not fill it with art? That's, that's pretty funny and awesome all at the same time. All right, let me know in the comments. Do you agree or disagree? All right, in the dining room, we have the history of barbecue here. Let me get a better angle so y'all can push pause and read it. It's pretty cool. I've heard the story before, but I've never really seen it advertised in a restaurant before. All right. All right, if you want to read that, hit pause. Or better yet, come to the restaurant. Now a nod from 407 Barbecue. We had the, the wall supporting first responders, veterans. And check this wall out. This is awesome. <laughs> Feared by livestock. This is this is a cool old school barbecue joint. I love this building. All right, let's cook some food. I'm gonna have the three meat plate. Mm -hmm. Can I get brisket, ribs, and ham on that? For the sides, I'm gonna do uh, mac and cheese and potato salad. Mac and cheese and potato salad? Give me a piece of that sheet cake and a drink. Okay, so we have sliced brisket. We have something I have not had since I was a little kid. That's pit ham. We have some ribs. For size, going with the mac and cheese and the potato salad. Let's dig in. Check out this brisket. That brisket is nice and moist. Absolutely amazing bark on there. Check that out. Pulls apart. Little tug. Salt forward. Back in with the pepper. This is good. This is really good. I like the little honeycomb there. Definitely get the salt on the front end, pepper on the back. It's a delicious piece of brisket. Look for these ribs. Check that out. Look at that, that color, the texture. Perfect bite through. Excellent smoke. Definite pepper. Got a little garlic in there. A little, almost cayenne, I want to say. Let me take another bite. That's a wonderful, savory, most garlic pronounced rib I think I've ever had. And that is fantastic. <laughs> I 100% dig that rib. Oh, goodness. Look at this ham. A ham, it is what it is. Still be delicious. It reminds me of the old school barbecue joints. In fact, under Steven was telling me this is what he's going for. He is going for the, the barbecue joints we had around North Texas, you know, 70s, 80s, 90s. Um, kind of old school country. We are kind of in the country right now. Pit ham was always on the menu. Very delicious. Very delicious. Now look forward to these sides. I am. Um, 
I love a good potato salad. Check that out. Creamy, some onions. It was really good. Look at the mac and cheese. <laughs> the best way I can describe that mac and cheese is gourmet Luby's Cafeteria. <laughs> it's got the same texture to it. Better flavor, of course, but nice and creamy. Um, noodles cook perfectly. I love that. Absolutely love that. In fact, I'm going for another bite. This is good. This is real good. It's amazing what has taken place in Fort Worth. I mean, the barbecue scene in Fort Worth can rival Lockhart, it can rival Austin. But then you have a new place here. And we're 20 minutes from downtown Fort Worth. Um, I, I live in North Dallas and it's about an hour drive out here. Definitely worth it. Um, what makes this joint really cool? It is kind of in a an area that's starting to get built up a little bit, but still has that country feel to it. And it, it does, it reminds me of a, an old school barbecue joint. This is this is awesome, guys. You'll definitely check this out. I'm going back for the rib. Man, that's probably one of the best ribs I've had. Good. That is really good. good. So I'm here with my buddy Randy, and I want to get his thoughts on the flavor of these ribs. So I think it's very garlic heavy, but I'm, I'm awful sometimes with distinct and or uh, identifying flavors. Let's see what he thinks. Mm. Do you get the garlic like I do? Am I, am mm. I wrong with that? No, it's good. No, it's just fantastic. <laughs> it's one of the best ribs I've had in a long time. Garlic, onion, herbs. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's savory. It's, good. it's, it's very not, savory. Not just salt, pepper heavy. It's got, it's got uh, a lot of really savory, it's, nice, balanced flavor. Yeah, it's more complex really flavors than I'm used to. This Absolutely. Is, this is delicious. I almost compared the flavors you get on a prime rib. Maybe it's the herbs I'm getting in there. Mm -hmm. Yes, it's, a, it's, a, it's a, like a nice, savory balance. Yeah. It's not just salt and pepper. God, this is good. Try it. Try it. That's his pork belly brisket. All right. So I got the three meat plate. Buddy Randy got a little bit more than that. Here's the pork belly brisket. Yeah. This is good. This is real good. This is another prime example um, why the the lists are great, but if you only follow places on the list, you're going to miss out on phenomenal places, especially new places that were, you know, come out after the list. Yeah, this this is one of those places you don't want to miss out on. This is way better than I thought it was going to be, to be honest with you, man. <laughs> Dude, I told you, you don't get an ass like this not being able to sniff out the good thing. <laughs> but also. He's meticulous as hell. Yeah. I love him. This is really, really good. He's, he's constantly working there. Improving. Like, I did, he didn't get to the point where he's satisfied with it. He's constantly working on it. I'm going to point something out on this potato salad. I don't know if you can really see that on the camera. I can't really dip my fork. But you know most potato salads are in chunks. This is in slices, and I, I kind of like that. <laughs> it's unique, that different mouthfeel that I'm used to. A lot of texture. Really good. I'm gonna go in a little piece of, of the lean side of the brisket too, just gotta give you an example of both. I love lean. That's very good, but it's one of those rare occasions where I actually prefer the the fatty compared to the lean. This is still good. Alright. So Randy also shared some of his chicken with me. There we go. A little chicken wing, a little flapper, my favorite part. Yeah, that's good. You know, let's get a little bit of info about this restaurant on my way over here. And um, found out that owner Steve used to work at 407. Um, we'll see that video, just click the link above. I was expected to be very similar, but it's, it's really not. <laughs> Do you think so? No, it's no. different. Yeah, it's totally different, and it's 
not a bad thing because I love 407, don't get me wrong, but this is a whole other ball game. And uh, yeah, this is really good. Two phenomenal places. Check that rib, man. I can't get over these ribs. All right, so you know I don't highlight desserts very often, but if you've been watching my channel for any length of time, you know I love sheet cake, especially that from Evie Mays and um, Smokeaholics in Fort Worth. They have sheet cake here. This looks good. And it's very good. Top to bottom, a fantastic menu. Excellent protein, excellent sides. Most importantly, excellent dessert. All right, I am stuck. Uh, the highlight for me uh, were those ribs. That complexity of those ribs is something you don't find very often. In fact, I really can't think of any time I've had something close to that at a barbecue joint. This place is incredible. I kind of ashamed to admit this. I really didn't know they were out here until about a couple of days ago. And um, yeah, shame on me. But there's no excuse for you guys now. You guys know about this place, you know it's awesome. Uh, Northwest Fort Worth, 20 minutes from downtown. Um, I live in North Dallas an hour. If you're in the Metroplex, you know, visiting, this is this is a stop you want to check out. Fort Worth is absolutely amazing with their barbecue scene. So many phenomenal places. You could do a, a massive barbecue crawl just in the Fort Worth area. And this is another spot just to add to the to the legacy of that. And the best thing about it, it's a little different. You know, you go to a lot of these barbecue joints and things are, are kind of the same. Different flavor profile, especially in those ribs. Different setting. It's small town, small town Texas. You can't beat that. I, um, I'll i definitely be back, and um, especially for breakfast. We're talking about doing a breakfast menu here in the near future. Don't know when that'll start up. Um, restaurant business things can change at any moment. They may not even do it, but hopefully they do because I cannot imagine that brisket on a biscuit. It's going to be good. Hey, this is Steve Blunt from Local Craft Barbecue in Newark, Texas. And until the next video, fire's out.